Hey guys, this is Sam with Golovi Real Estate and today we're reviewing a brand new community. We're here in Citrus Heights reviewing Canyon at Mitchell Village. This is one of three brand new communities right here. We're gonna go through and show you what the models look like right now. All right guys, here we are. This is the plan 1628. It's the first model, one of three that they have showcased here. And we'll go through and this is a very interesting new community here in Citrus Heights that's being built out. You can see here there's a kind of a nature preserve space out there and it kind of treks back over there to the left. And over there, there's gonna be some nature trails, some walkthroughs, and even some play areas in the future. All right, here we are stepping into the plan 1628. You can see right away, nice open floor plan in the front. Plenty of natural light coming in. Definitely for a smaller home, you have uh, some pretty good space to entertain. You have a natural dining space here flowing in and also the kitchen. Loving this island right here. white cabinets. Kibbe Homes does a good job on this. Now, one thing to keep into consideration, as has been noted to me, is that uh, this house, all these houses, are actually fully electric. So no gas here. So if uh, you're driving a Tesla in the garage, this might be a good fit for you. Um, but they do come with solar to help out with that. So solar is gonna be an extra cost. I'll put the precise numbers right there, but it's gonna be ranging anywhere from about 12 to 13,000, depending on how many panels you get. All right, so here we are, here's the first bath. They have the single sink there, but typically they may allow you for an extra upgrade to do dual sinks if you needed it. Now keep in mind some of the items here since this is a model home are gonna be more updates or designer studio items. So just keep that in mind. But here's the first bedroom. Very good size bedroom. Plenty of room in here. Probably guess it's uh, about a 11 by 11 size room. Now walking over this way. Bedroom number two. Also fairly about the same size, very good size bedroom. You could probably easily fit a queen bed in here and have no problems at all. Whereas they have it set up for a nursery. Now over here to our left, you actually have the laundry upstairs in an inner area, which I really like. Plus since everyone is sleeping and living upstairs, it just makes sense. That's a good space for a laundry right there. Now walking in, of course, you guys are all excited about this one. This is the master. And right away to your left, you have this nice big walk-in closet, okay? Plenty of space in here. And then walking out over here, this master, wow. It's a pretty spacious master. Definitely plenty of space here for a king or a California king. And what's cool about this model is this one actually kind of looks out to that nature preserve over here. And it'll definitely get greener as we get into the spring months. Here we have the master bath. You have that nice walk-in shower. Then you have the dual sinks on this one, which is nice. And of course you have the loo back there. Also has a view to the outside. Can't complain about that one. And then right here, you have the linen closets. So definitely an effective use of the size of this home. I mean, under 1,700 square feet, they've packed a lot of punch with these homes. Now, what's interesting about this community is that it's actually one of three brand new communities in the area. And so they're all kind of sister communities 
uh, attached by this green belt or nature space, if you want to call it that. One thing I wanted to show you here too, before we move on too much, is that these homes come with like a patio style backyard. So for low maintenance, easy living, this would definitely be a good fit. It's kind of like a side access, zero lot line. And you would consider these homes, they might get on me for saying this wrong, but basically uh, kind of like alley style homes. So you enter through the garage and everyone kind of shares a garage a driveway, which I'll show you kind of enter the home. So for low maintenance, easy living, definitely a good fit. There is an HOA here and that HOA fee can actually range um, because as they're building more out, it should drop in price. But uh, you're seeing anywhere from about $165 all the way up to $255 on that HOA per month. Again, it will drop as it gets built out more. Another thing to uh, kind of keep in mind is that the special assessments and taxes here kind of range about 1.6% overall. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of these brand new homes here in Citrus Heights. If you ever have any more questions or are thinking about moving here in the greater Sacramento area, reach out to me and my team down below. We'd love to help you out any way that we can. My name is Sam Golobi. Thanks so much for watching.